We're going to talk about a venue now, and um, one that I came to know through a live album uh, by Cannonball Adderley. Cannonball Adderley uh, Sextet live at the Lighthouse in Hermosa Beach, California. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what's this Lighthouse thing? Well, I remember this. The album sounded great. And uh, I just remember that whole Lighthouse thing, of course, being from Florida. I you know a whole lot about lighthouses or what California was like, but I always wanted to go there, and I actually got pretty close a few years ago, that's for sure. Uh, this restaurant, it started out as, uh, was opened um, in uh, 1949 or so. Stan Levy, I think, opened this thing, and uh, he had this experiment he wanted to try. We're going to do some jazz jam sessions on Sundays just to kind of, it's a slow time and we can get these jazz people in here uh, on Sunday afternoon and have a jam session. That became kind of a uh, formula. There's all kind of jam sessions uh, on Sunday afternoon, concerts, jazz, people like that. So he started that to see how it was going to go. But it went really well. And soon there was actually a house band. They didn't want to count on just jam session. They want to have somebody that could make it happen no matter what. And this house band was called the Lighthouse All-Stars. And at first they would just bring in guest artists like Chet Baker or Jerry Mulligan who were on the West Coast already. And that's where they were based. and. Uh, People like Miles Davis would come through and sit in with the uh, Lighthouse All-Stars. And uh, eventually it uh, started opening up more nights uh, for jazz. And um, the All-Stars continued to play the Sunday uh, jam sessions kind of thing. But then during the weekend, especially weekend nights, Fridays and Saturdays, you had the big boys flying in from all over because the lighthouse is getting famous. And so you got you know a lot of guys on the coast, you know, Shorty Rogers and people like that that are coming through there because they live out there. Um, uh, Jimmy Gaffrey, you know. Um, Stan Getz is coming through there, you know. Uh, but then East Coast people, like I said, Cannonball Alley. And at that time, his sextet with Yusuf Latif and uh, Miles Davis. And like I said, the Cannonball album sounded really good. So the room sounded great for acoustic jazz. And a lot of jazz musicians noticed that. So a lot of jazz musicians would book gigs at the Lighthouse with a specific purpose of not just playing the gig, but recording. So. It's a who's who of recordings. Art Blakey recorded there. Um, Woody Shaw recorded there. Joe Henderson recorded there. Charles Erden, Grant Green, uh, Cal Jada. Uh, we can go on and on and on. Stan Getz, um, Bud Shank. Uh, you name them and they probably have a live album from a lighthouse because the audience was always very lively and supportive and courteous to the jazz musicians. The ambiance was very, very spirited and motivational and the sound in the room was crystal clear. So all the big boys would come to the lighthouse to do their thing. And this wonderful location was the happening scene on the West Coast from the 50s until about 1970, 71. But Mr. Levy died in 1970. The family sold it. The new owner ran it for a short while and then he tried to do a little reggae and a little rock and a little this and the manager that had been hired uh, didn't like it too much so he left and 
started his own jazz club in another pier location at a beach a few miles away. And uh, before you know it, the lighthouse was no more. A very sad ending to a place of great jubilation for so many jazz musicians and so many great recordings. So just to have fun, just go out and do a little Google search, jazz recordings, lighthouse, and see how many pop up. You may be surprised that even your favorite jazz artist has a live album recorded at the lighthouse. And then you will get the same feeling and understanding of what live jazz is supposed to be that I got by listening to Jai Samba played live at the lighthouse by Karen Ball and his sextet all those many years ago. So thank you, Mr. Levy, so for believing in jazz and for giving the West Coast a hot location for jazz performance for over 20 years. The Lighthouse on Hermosa Beach. Thank you. <laughs>